Welcome to Search for Signs. My name is Gary Willing. If this information interests you, please press the like and subscribe button and press the bell for notifications. Now, once we as a people realize and know for a fact that there is life on other planets in the solar system, it won't help but change the way that we view ourselves, the way that we relate to one another, the, the civilization that we're going to build and so forth. Because not only will we have models that uh, demonstrate for us moment to moment what divinity is, we'll also have in interactions and, and learn from people from higher civilizations. So we'll have models of civilizations to look forward to, right? Now, it kind of sucks living on Earth right now because the fact that our Earth isn't very, that our planet isn't very evolved relative to other planets, right? Like Venus or Mars even or Jupiter or Saturn or Mercury or whatever. But that's also kind of cool because according to the, the nine known planets that are in our solar system, the majority of those are far more advanced than we are. So our neighbors are actually doing it right. So we'll have wonderful examples to look forward, to, you know, look to, to help us build the civilization that we all know can exist. So it will, it'll speed things up in a lot of ways. Now, according to George Adamski and Benjamin Krem, these space brothers look very similar to us. They can walk into a restaurant or a mall or a church or whatever, and nobody would recognize them as being from another planet. They look just like us. Now, according to Benjamin Krem, he had many uh, interactions with these space brothers and knew from kind of how they spoke and what they knew about themselves and about the universe and life itself and stuff, that there was something really extraordinary about these people. But they looked totally normal. And, and according to them, they had been living amongst humanity for a long time, working behind the scenes in politics and other, you know, modes of living and stuff like this, you know, social fields and stuff like this, but working kind of behind the scenes, kind of helping us and in, in this and things as diplomats or whatever, helped us through the, the Cuban Missile Crisis in a way that we couldn't have done it without their help. Uh, now, the work of the, of the UFOs in general is really twofold. It, to oversimplify it, right? The There's putting on these shows in the atmosphere to kind of help wake us up to the fact that they're here. So it's not going to be as much of a shock when Maitreya finally introduces them as a reality. The other thing is that they're working very quietly behind the scenes to help clean up our atmosphere because these Space Brothers have methods and ways and technology to help neutralize the pollution and, and the nuclear radiation that we're emitting on a daily basis. And according to Benjamin Krem's own master, if it wasn't for the work of the Space Brothers, this world would be almost uninhabitable, if not uninhabitable. So we owe them a great karmic debt. And eventually that, according to Benjamin Krem's master, we'll have to repay that debt some kind of way. I don't know how. I don't know much it's going to cost us, but it's going to cost us something. It's because, you know, we're, we're creating negative karma in a lot of ways. Now, the other thing too, is that the, like with Benjamin Krem, right? He had many interactions with these space brothers. And the one that I thought was interesting was his, when he started along the work that he was doing, his, his master kept encouraging him to get a car and he kept putting it off because I guess Benjamin Krem didn't really like to drive. And he probably don't, it's like living in New York. You could just take a cab or, a, or the tube or whatever. You don't really need to drive. But eventually his master said, look, you're going to need to get a car. So he eventually bought this kind of cheap car, I think. And this was back in maybe the 60s or, you know, something like that. Maybe in the 70s, I don't know. And the car was having some kind of trouble. I don't know what, it, engine trouble of some kind. And one of these space brothers that he was in a, you know, talking to, and you know, not in a relationship with, but kind of, you know, but knew who he was, knew he was from another planet. You know, he never said what planet he was from, but said, let me give it a try. So he actually opens up his hood and he, he said he did something to this engine that it started to make this hum 
that it didn't have before. He said, but that was the most incredible incredible car after that he said it was just it ran efficiently the gas mileage and the and the and and all that kind of stuff went through the roof but this this space brother really tuned up his car in a way that that it wasn't like that before so they have a lot of knowledge about machinery and stuff that we don't even have i guess but he said it was just incredible but according to benjamin krem these these space brothers have been working behind the scenes for decades helped us through a lot of different crises that we had and we'll never know these space brothers by name. A lot of times, they, most of the time, I think they probably won't even tell us who they are or where they're from. But they know where they, they come from. They know who they are. You know, they know what planet they're from, you know, that kind of thing. Some of them were born in the normal way. Other ones just came here and kind of filtered into society and stuff. But they're all here helping us moment to moment. And according to Benjamin Krem's own master, they, he, he says they're the forces. How did he put it? It, it, the spiritual forces of light, I think is what he called it, right? Where they are really, it's like an army of, uh, and an um, armada of space brothers here helping us, trying to get us through this crisis, right? But the work and our relationship with these space brothers will go f- long into the future. And it will only get deeper and deeper and deeper. But I think they're really going to here to help us build our civilization, and help us build the structures that we need. And the masters will be teaching us who we are and what we need to do and so forth. But it will be like we have all sorts of partnerships to help us get through this point and get us to the next phase. Because they know that we're getting ready, if that makes sense. That's the only reason why they're here doing what they're doing. But they're always here to help. And the one thing that they're going to be encouraging us to do, just like the masters are going to encourage us to do, is to do really one thing first. And that is... And as always, take action. Help SOP save our planet. Thanks for listening, and we look forward to talking to you again in future videos. Have a great day.